happen. We're going to see how it is that God just needed one of the men to go up there. But uh, I just felt what we can do to turn this into motivation to make yourself the best person you can be.
you have to use the context of this, the, the sentence to figure it out. Words like kid, Johnny Nelson, Tommy's. You use phrases like have a nice night. Can I get a witness? Love life. He was throwing up West Side at seven years old. He was. Living the same. Two bedroom house with multiple lives. Your mom stopped laughing. Your mom stopped fighting. Your mom stopped screaming. Or scheming. Awaiting the perfect time and place to throw something, whether it was an apple, shoe, hair gel, or my mom's curling iron, at each other's what you call Spanish cojones. <laughs> but as we grew older and the two little ones came into play, we started to parents. So, yeah, it defined our own parents. And he made his own decisions. And he started to parents away from his older brother's ways. And he became his own self and individual. There would be weekends where I didn't see much of him. And at first, I thought, thank God, the kid doesn't live in my pocket anymore. <laughs> but now I think to myself, how would I love him? <laughs> he was always there, ready to be unexcited for the day. We woke up together, too. When Chachi and I were in high school, we lost our house. So Chachi, Jordy, Chich, and my parents moved in with Jordan. In Lucy Jamie's house, I moved in my grandparents' house. And a year later, my family then moved to my uncle Damon's house while I went off to school up at the U in Chico. During this time, me at school and Chachi taking off for his marine training, it was just Jordy Chich and my parents and my aunts, along with our two baby cousins. Time passed by, Chachi's training was over. I moved out to San Diego and he took off for Afghanistan. One day, when I was a couple hundred miles away, Chachi was a couple thousand miles away, we both got the news from our parents. They had found a house, and we were finally going to be able to live all together again. We finally were blessed with another house to live in, except this one was ours. This was our house. So I got the phone with my father. After hearing the good news, I went in my room and I cried tears of joy and asked God to bring us all home so we can be together again. I got so excited. Except one week in San Diego, I kept having these dreams and these visions in the back of my mind of doing the exact same thing I'm doing right now. I got so scared. And I asked God to spare me. The man that got to take my life in touch. father replied with Zach. <laughs> that moment I just knew I felt my heart break. <laughs> I knew he was gone. A few of you know a couple of days later my family and I flew to Delaware where they did a private service for our family and that family lost a son. 
showed up at the airstrip where a giant military plane held two caskets inside with an American flag over them. The Marines then escorted him in the military fashion to do this, or to the van 15 yards in front of us. And the closer he got to me in his casket, the louder I heard Chachi's voice just say, Okay.
You must never forget the experiences and the memories he had with those deceased because through 